Hi guys, my name is Daryl and today I want to talk about Vince's nutrition. Now the first thing you have to understand is that Vince was a complete genius. You know, the guy was um, way ahead of his time. I mean, his knowledge on the human body was is, is, uh, incredible. I, I've had, I have three college degrees and all in exercise science and nutrition and um, psychology. And, you know, from the professors, from doctors and that I've uh, studied under. Um, Vince was probably the, the smartest guy that I've ever come in contact with. And the, what he knew about exercise and nutrition is, I've never even met anybody that can compare to it today. And um, there's a lot of smart guys out there, and, but Vince was, um, he was, he was quite special. And his nutrition was um, just as, as complicated and and intelligent as his exercise and his, and his programs. And so when you put those two together, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's incredible what, how he would change bodies. And his nutrition programs were very complicated. Um, they're very hard to follow. Over the past few years, I've kind of, you know, researched online to see if any of inf his information is actually being taught out there. And, and, and no one's really teaching it. Um, there's just fragments of it. You know, people will talk about certain aspects of his nutrition or, or whatever, but um, no one's really talking about like the, the nuts and bolts of, the, of, his, of his nutrition programs. And so I decided that I'd figure I would like to do that just because, um, just to keep the, the information, you know, honest as, as well as true and to, to uh, so there's no more, um, you know, fragmented pieces or whatever, and we can kind of figure out the, the, the programs that are out there um, a little bit better if we know what the nutrition is all about. And so the, the idea of, the, uh, of Vince's nutrition is it was really kind of based on bio-individuality. So he would design a program to match a person's metabolism and their body type. And so that's where it kind of gets a little complicated because the, these programs aren't really cookie cutter, which means that you just can't take a program that worked for me and then give it to somebody else and expect it to work for that person. Vince would design a program specifically for me with the supplements that I needed. So one thing you have to understand is that Vince was a huge supplement uh, proponent. And so he, um, you know, would, would give you an exercise program and a nutrition plan, and then you, you would be taking a tremendous amount of supplements. And so you get this package every month, you know, and it was awesome because you, everything would be all included and you would just follow the program. Then your body would just change and you'd be totally blown away. It was, it was incredible. But he knew exactly what to give you. And, um, you know, a lot of those supplements that I was taking when I was training with Vince, um, you can't get anymore. He was, um, his supplier was uh, NSP Nutrition, was uh, my, one of my best friends named Ron Kozloff was the owner. And um, it was Ron Kozloff and Ray Reardon who, um, owned NSP Nutrition back in the, in the 70s and 80s and 90s. And so Vince bought all the supplements from NSP Nutrition. And so the, the quality of the supplements were superior and they were just outstanding. And uh, unfortunately over the years, um, the supplement companies have changed and the products have changed. And, um, and unfortunately, Ron Kozlov passed away a few years ago. So um, he, he is no longer in charge of NSP Nutrition, even though it still does exist and they do have really good products. Um, a lot of the products that are out there now on their, on their, uh, in their company, you know, are very good. And they're, they're, they're uh, it's something that I would recommend. But they, the supplements that I was taking back when I was with Vince, a lot of those supplements are no longer being produced. And so, for example, I was taking, you know, supplements like um, Paracil, um, 92% milk and egg protein. And I gotta say, his uh, Ron Kozloff's uh, milk and egg protein was outstanding. He only had one flavor and it was delicious. It was like an almond cherry. And uh, man, I, I crave it today. You can't get it anymore, but man, I, I loved it. It was, I don't know, it was the best protein powder. You, you would mix it with 10 ounces of cream. You would throw a banana in there and then you would have, uh, you throw a couple eggs in there and that was um, like a, it was a weight gainer. 
and, and that's what uh, Vince would, would prescribe when I was on the bulking program, that you'd make this shake and it was delicious. It was like, oh my gosh, you couldn't wait to get to it. But anyway, so they don't make that anymore. Um, desiccated liver, you can still get that. But back then, the, uh, the desiccated liver tablets were food. And so Vince would always say, you know, chew them. You know, you don't want to swallow the desiccated liver because it's food, so you want to chew them. And they looked like, like horse pills, and they were absolutely disgusting. <laughs> the most, oh my gosh. But you get, to, you, get, you get used to them after a while. And after, you know, maybe six months, I finally acquired a taste for them. But they were pretty nasty. But anyways, they were huge. And you can, almost, you can still get these, actually, from Universal Nutrition. They sell the exact same kind of uh, liver tablets that, they, uh, that Vince used to prescribe way back in the day. Um, amino acids, um, there's a pro product called Amino Pump, which is really good, free form amino acids, um, chelated uh, minerals, and then Vince had what's called a nutritional foundation, which was like a, a multivitamin, um, Hyper Cplex, Zeptron, um, Sterogen, uh, super B and C vitamins, uh, Cobaloid Plus, which you, you can't get any of these anymore. So a lot of these supplements were glandulars, um, pituitary, adrenal glands. Um, used to have what was called raw gland pro, which again was more animal glands. Um, orchic, which is the bull testicles. And actually you can still get orchic. Orchic is great if you want to try to um, increase your free testosterone in your body. And so that's a great product. You would take four orchic before you work out and then four orchic after you worked out. And so that would help stimulate the, uh, the testicles so you can increase your testosterone levels. Um, kelp tablets for uh, burning fat, um, lipotropic agents, uh, digestive enzymes. You always have digestive enzymes um, with every meal. Calcium, um, tryptophan. I think you can still get tryptophan today, but they banned that for a while because it was causing problems with people because they, it, it caused you to go to sleep. And I think if, if you overdose, I guess they were having issues with, with that uh, years ago. But you can still get L-tryptophan today. Um, zinc every day. Uh, you take uh, RNA tablets, which is ribonucleic acid. Um, Trigerm oil. Uh, Biogamic, which is a, uh, a vitamin B15 supplement. You would take Allofan tablets. Um, you would take uh, a, a product called Amino Grow, which is uh, basically a, just an amino complex. Um, and again, the, talking about the shakes, um, Ron Kozlov had this uh, unbelievable, it was, it was a weight gainer, and it was uh, a little bit higher in the carbohydrates. But man, it was the, the, the best tasting protein shake I've ever had beside the uh, milk and egg protein. This was something that you would have before you went to bed and you would put, um, you would put safflower oil in it. And so it would create like this, uh, oh man, it was amazing. Because you always want to, the thing is, you always want to mix a fat with a protein. And so this was a, a, um, a common mistake a lot of guys make is when they, when they have their protein shakes, even today with like the whey protein or casein, they don't add any fat to it. You want to add fat to it so the protein can hydrolyze through the liver. And if you don't, then what happens is the, the protein doesn't really, it, it gets broken down into sugar. So you end up having a very high glycemic uh, shake. And so, you know, Ron always add oil to his, his protein shakes. And so it really worked well. And uh, I recommend that today. So if you're having a whey protein shake or casein protein shake, you know, you always want to add oil to it. And I, I, I use MCT oil now and um, just put a tablespoon in there and that's, that's really good. And you, just, you, don't, you don't blend it, you just stir it in there and that's all you need. Or you can shake it with your shaker. Um, so that's important. So anyways, that's just a little side note. And then um, we took uh, you know, lots of calcium, phosphorus free, calcium, potassium. Um, you would take this stuff called uh, 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 veal, vealzyme. Again, these, these are all animal products that you would consume. And Vince was huge on glandulars. Um, like, uh, you know, if you could eat kidneys, liver, brain, you know, all the animal organs, you know, fantastic because they're, they're very rich in, um, in protein and nutrients. 
And uh, they really, man, they just change your body like crazy because that's what the body kind of craves is, you know, all that uh, organic um, muscle and, and uh, glands. So that's why you want to have, <clears throat> you know, lots of red meat, eggs, chicken. Uh, make sure that your chicken is all organic, grass-fed. And eggs, you know, you want to make sure that they're uh, pasture-raised and um, so that the, the, the chicken's running around and collecting and eating all the, um, the nutrients from the earth. And so you want to be able to, uh, that, that whatever they eat, you're going gonna, gonna, you're gonna to have too. So you want to make sure that you're, they're eating a good uh, supply of organic bugs and, and nutrients rather than just being shoved in a little box and force-fed uh, a lot of corn products. And so you don't want to get those eggs. But the, the idea of Vince's, of, of his nutrition was really basically, you know, it's ke it, it would be ketogenic during the, um, the definition phase. It was in, during his maintenance phase. It was um, primarily, you know, you know, eggs, chicken, f fish, red meat with lots of salads and lots of steamed vegetables. Um, he would very seldom um, have a lot of pasta and, and, and baked potatoes. But what you would do is, like every 72 hours, as your glycogen levels were dropping, then you would drop in a, um, a starch or just the carbohydrate, like you'd have a baked potato with nothing, no proteins, and then you, or you could have pasta with no proteins, and you'd have that every 72 hours to restore your glycogen levels. And so, you know, when you're doing the bulking phase, you know, you are, you're taking more of the, like that, the cream uh, concoction with the eggs. And, but again, you're taking a lot of supplements, you know. So he, he would list all the supplements out and you would just, you know, have the supplements along with the shake. And that really helped because if you just have eggs, I know eggs are a great food, but if you just have eggs, like some guys would say, I'm just doing the egg diet and I'm just having eggs all day and they don't eat anything else and they don't take any supplements and they don't take digestive enzymes, they don't do anything. And that, that's an imbalance. So you, you just can't have just one food all the time for 30 days without having an imbalance. So you have to, you know, you have to have all the other nutrients brought in. And so that's why all these supplements were, were incorporated so that you could keep everything healthy and, and balanced. And that's where a lot of guys make the mistake because they, they, they read or hear that, you know, I'm doing Vince's egg diet and I'm doing eggs and steak and that's all I'm doing. And, and then um, they don't talk about their digestive uh, enzymes or all the, um, the vitamins and the minerals and all the, uh, all the glands, uh, the glandulars. And so when you're not doing all that, you know, the, the program really isn't what, what Vince's program was then because then you're just kind of making up something that's not really what Vince was, was teaching. So you have to understand that, you know, Vince was very particular and that you wanted to add in all these supplements along with it. So it becomes a little bit more complicated. And um, so then after you, like after a certain period, like say a month, like say if you did the egg program, I did the egg diet, and so I would do that for 30 days. And then you'd get off it for, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't stay on that. You'd only do it for a phase. And during that phase, you were also doing, like say his bulk program. So you match the bulk program with the, the egg diet. So you're, the, the whole month you're, you're in a bulk phase. And so you're not really concerned about definition and, and being really cut up at that point. You're trying to put on more muscle size. So along with that, you're going to put just a little bit of body fat on. And then you would kind of go into different, another phase, which would be kind of sort of a maintenance phase. And you go into a whole different uh, program as well. So during the maintenance phase, you're working, you know, primarily like a, like a 4 by 12 program, or sometimes even a 10 by 10 or an 8 by 8 But it was just a, um, the, the idea that you're changing along and so that you'd have a specific nutrition plan along with that too. So you'd be eating more vegetables, you'd be eating more um, you know, your red meats and your chicken and fish. And then, you know, uh, one of my favorite uh, desserts that Vince prescribed, and I used to, I, I love it, I still have it. You take uh, whipping cream, and so whipping cream, if you, you know, if you blend it or you whip it, you can, it'll get like, like almost like a, uh, well, it, gets turn, it turns into whipped cream. And then you would take pineapple, like chopped pineapple, and you just dump it in, you mix it into the whipping cream. And then you eat it. It's phenomenal. I mean, it's like it's one of my favorite because the, the 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 pineapple is a digestive aid. So it's just a great 
great little uh, dessert to have after one of your evening meals. And so, um, but again, like all these different types of nutrition programs that Vince would um, design, all had a specific purpose. And so you couldn't be on it forever, you know? So I guess you could do the maintenance phase forever, you know, that's basically, you'd wake up and you would have, um, the first thing you would have in the morning, right when you wake up, would you just take six free form amino acids on an empty stomach. And then about 30 minutes later, you would have a, uh, two pieces of toast with butter on it, and then you'd have up to um, four to six eggs, and you could, you could either drink them raw, or you could uh, lightly scramble them. Um, you don't want to destroy the, the fat content, so you don't want to you know, cook the, 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 the yolks too much, because that, that's going to cause hydrogenated um, fats in the, in, the, in, the, in the yolk. So you don't want that, so you want to keep the yolks relatively loose and runny, and that's important. Like, a, like an egg that's sunny side up is really the best way to consume an egg if you don't want to drink it raw. So then you'd have that, and then you'd have, in between your meals, you'd have up to 10 liver tablets and 10 free-form amino acids. And then you'd have your lunch, <clears throat> which would be consistent of basically um, like steak or um, chicken, but it was, it was primarily steak, about a half a pound to a pound of steak. And then you would have uh, like a green leafy salad and then you would have all your, you take, again, you know, you're taking your digestive enzymes and you take all your supplements along with it. So I would take, you know, for breakfast, I would have my, um, uh, I would take the digestive enzymes, um, the, all the, uh, the nutritional foundation, again, which is the nutrition, like a vitamin, like a multivitamin. I would take the hyper C, hyper B. I would take zinc, niacin. I would take a, um, my iron pill. Um, and then... Uh, all the glandulars I would take for lunch, so my glandulars with, with the red meat and the, the spin, I mean the uh, whatever, it might have been spinach or the green leafy vegetable, and then I would take my glandulars, I'd take my digestive enzymes, and then I would take the, uh, what's called the raw gland pro, which is again more, more glandulars, hyper C, always taking lots of vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin, vitamin D3, I would take K2 along with it, um, and then you would take uh, uh, RNA along with that and then in between the next meal would be again 10 livers and 10 digestive enzymes and then you would have your your next meal which would be again um, you, you could have eggs or you could have steak or you could have chicken again I always stuck with the eggs and, and steak that, that worked the best for me it still does and so I would have another half a pound of uh, red meat and again, probably like spinach or um, broccoli or, or some steamed vegetable. And then I'd, again, I'd, after that, a couple hours later, I'd take my 10 livers, 10 free form amino acids. And then I'd have um, my other meal, which again, would probably consist of, because I'd, ha I'd, I'd like to have eggs at night or sometimes even cottage cheese. So I'd have cottage cheese with some chives and, um, you know, just some, uh, sometimes I'd even throw a little blueberries in there. But then, because you want to have uh, a protein at night before you go to bed, and cottage cheese is a casein protein, and the casein protein is going to last a lot longer. So you're going to be able to, to, to utilize that while you sleep. So that's why you want to have your casein proteins at night, because they're very, very slow uh, in digestion. So if you have your casein pro protein during the day, it could make you a little bit sluggish. So you want to have it at night so that your body can kind of feed off of that. And that's why like your, your cottage cheese is a great thing to have like 90 minutes before you go to bed. Or if you don't have that, then you could have a casein protein and you could add MCT oil to it. And that would help um, with, your, with your recovery at night. And, and so um, I would always do that. And then sometimes you know, after dinner, I would have that, uh, that whipping cream concoction. I'm telling you, man, once you have that, you know, you're going to want to have it all the time. But I do it every once in a while. I didn't want to, I mean, just a little treat. So you just do like a... Maybe once a week, but man, it is delicious. And so um, that's what that's what my nutrition plan would be for that month. And so you just follow that, and then you know as you got closer to you know starting to compete, um, so you, you, the the programs for definition were it's a twelve it's a twelve week program. And so everything changes at that point. Where well, you're getting off the maintenance diet, you're not doing the bulking diet anymore. You go into a the um, definition diet. Now the definition diet is really intense because you know you're starting to really get 
you know, it's basically just ketogenic. And, you know, at first, you, you, you know, it's, it can be difficult because if, you, if you, you're going to stay in ketosis the whole time, and that can be very demanding on your body. And sometimes it's, it's um, you know, it's, it's hard to stay in ketosis. And you don't want to stay in ketosis for a very, very long time because you can get ketoacidosis, and that can cause all kinds of problems. So, you know, you have to be careful, you know, when you're doing this stuff. And, and um, there has to be a, a systematic uh, plan and, that you're following so that you're also getting out of it at the same time. So, you know, you're going to stay on this program for 12, 12 weeks and then you get off it. You know, you can't stay on the ketogenic diet the rest of your life. So you have to actually, you know, come off it sometimes and then you have to go back into, you know, restoring your, your body and you have to cleanse it. And then you have to, you know, go back into your maintenance phase and so on. And then, you know, there's periods of time where you have to get off supplements too. You can't always take supplements every single day and just keep kind of grinding your system. You have to get off the supplements. And, you know, Vince would always have us do supplements, um, which was hard to do, but you'd do three days on, three days off. And um, some guys just can't do that. They, they feel like they have to stay on this stuff all the time and uh, it hinders their progress. So you kind of have to listen to your body and you have to kind of let your body regenerate and restore itself. You just can't just keep throwing, you know, tons of protein in your body without ever, you know, cleaning it out and, and cleaning out your intestines because you can develop a lot of mucus and everything in your intestines. And so you want to clean that all out. And if you just keep doing the same thing over and over and just keep pounding on your system, you're going to have all kinds of uh, problems. And so that's what Vince's programs are all about. So when you go into that definition program, you know, you're getting to the point where, you know, you're depleting yourself but also you're trying to maintain your muscle mass as at the same time you're trying to metabolize as much fat off your body as you possibly can. And when you do that, you're going to have all kinds of issues because, you know, when you are losing the body fat, you're also losing your energy reserves. So you have to figure a way to kind of make, maintain your energy as you're still training and put, trying to maintain and, and, and maximize your muscle growth as you're kind of working toward this, this end goal of getting on stage and competing and looking your best. So you're trying to get your, your, your water down, you're trying to get your, your definition up, your vascularity up. And so you have to take a lot of supplements when you do this, uh, when you take this approach, because you know, your, your body becomes so depleted. And again, you just can't just have like red meat you know, six times a day and, and not take anything along with it because that's just not the way the body works. So you have to take a lot of supplements, you have to take a lot of digestive aids along with it. So I was taking, you know, as you're doing the, di di uh, the definition phase, you know, you, you really have to be on point. And so you have, to, you have to really make sure that you're taking enough of your, your water, you have to take, make sure you're taking the potassium, sodium, you have to make sure that you're taking all the vitamins, you know, all the glandulars, you're taking, um, you know, all the lipotropic agents, and the digestive enzymes are the, are the key because it, it's, not, it's not a matter of how much you can eat. It's how much you can actually digest. And this is extremely important because, you know, a lot of guys just want to eat a ton of food and then their system gets so bogged down and sluggish that they, they just don't get any gains and they actually put on a lot of body fat. So you, you have to understand that, you know, with, with this type of approach with bodybuilding, we're trying to create and then sculpt this, this incredible masterpiece um, but we're, we're using our own flesh to do it. So you're, you know, you're, you're taking, you're, you're manipulating your water, you're manipulating your, your protein, your carbohydrates, your glycogen levels and all this, and, you're, and you're, you're trying to balance it all out and you're depleting certain things so that, you know, you want to, you know, during the definition phase, you're, you're pumping out a lot of your own uh, sugar from the, from the muscle and the liver. And so then you have to restore that. And so that every 72 hours, you have to restore your glycogen. So that's why you have to have a carbohydrate meal. And a lot of guys don't do that. Or they, they take too much of the carbohydrate and then they smooth right out. So they, they'll be eating way too many carbohydrates. And so, you know, the thing is, which is which it's very perplexing to me because I see a lot of guys, you know, they, they do a lot of rice and potatoes with their protein. Now, this was something that Vince always told me and Ron Kozloff always, you know, they're always uh, harping on this, is that you would never mix the concentrated carbohydrates with a concentrated protein and it causes way too much stress on your digestive tract and it pulls more water into your digestive tract and it makes your system very sluggish and it, and it's very, uh, <clears throat> it creates a, you know, when you have, when, when it develops the chime in your intestines that it becomes very uh, hard to process and so your body actually sort of rejects it and then you have like all kinds of gas and you can have gastrointestinal issues and this is a, the, the wrong combination. So 
Vince and Ron always would, would tell me to always, um, you have to mix your foods in the right mediums and the alkaline and acid mediums in your body are always kind of com competing against each other. So like for example, if you have your starches, that's going to be in your alkaline digestion. And then if you have your proteins, that's going to be more in the acidic digestion. So when you put the two together, it causes uh, too much, conf uh, it's, it's a, it causes too much stress on the body. It can create all kinds of uh, digestive distress. And so you would never mix those things together. So that's why you'd have your protein separate from your carbohydrate, like the starches, but you can have your, your um, green leafy vegetables and water soluble vegetables with your proteins because they have enough water to help digest the, the, um, the, the carbohydrates that are involved with those foods. And so that's how you would do it. So then your body would just start to adapt and, and, and regulate but at the same time, you're restoring your body when it needs it. So you're, when you're weight training, you're pumping out sugar. That's, this is the whole idea of weight training, is that you're pumping out as much sugar out of the, of the cells as possible so that you can restore more sugar. And that, that, it's called the sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is when the cells swell up, and that's when you get big in, the, in that nice uh, definition and that, and that muscular uh, development that we're all seeking in bodybuilding. Um, it's a whole different thing than, is, say, if I'm just doing powerlifting, that's myofibular hypertrophy, and that's something that's totally different. So that's not the goal for bodybuilding. So bodybuilding is more sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, and that's what we're doing. You're pumping out the sugar, and you're, you're creating those stores to get bigger so that you can store more glycogen and hold more hydrogens and, 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 and myoglobin in the muscle cells so that that's going to cause that swelling effect. And that's what you see when these guys are all, you know, all swollen, you know, they call it swole, you know, and it's like you, you get the huge muscles, it's because they have a tremendous capacity of, of glycogen storage, and that's what you're actually seeing when all that all, muscles are all defined like that and, and, and ripped. And so we're just, and, and, the, and the fat is being burned off, so it's like you're seeing all the, just the, what's left is a, just a, a display of muscle, and that's what we want to do. So that's what bodybuilding is all about, and so that's what Vince and, and Ron would always preach about was that, you know, you have to have the supplementation along with the nutrition piece so that it ties it all in together so you, there's no imbalances. And a lot of guys that I see out there that are trying to do some of this stuff, they're imbalanced. You know, they're, they're not doing any of the stuff that Vince was talking about. No one's ever talking about digestive enzymes anymore, but you have to have digestive enzymes. Vince used to always get on me, and, you know, if I, if I ever said anything about, you know, um, you know talking about the eggs or, or, or the meat or whatever, and, uh, you know, he said, are you taking digestive enzymes? And, I, and, I, and sometimes I made the mistake one time, I said no. And, <laughs> and as soon as you did that, man, that was it, you know. He, he just would go off the, <laughs> he'd go off. And, uh, and that's just how he was. But, you know, he, but, but that's the thing. Like, if you weren't following his program exactly, he would get very upset. So it's like, okay, you know, this, this, there's a reason why he, he writes things down for you and, and, and this, you know, you follow these things and then you realize that, you know, if you're not following to his specification, then the program's just not going to work as well. And so his, you know, his, his credibility was on the line. So anyway, so you just never really argued with him. You always just kind of do it <laughs> at that point. You just always do what he wanted you to do, but it worked really well. So you have to understand through all this, I know I'm, you know, it, it's, it's, again, it's very complicated. There's so much involved in all this, but you have to understand that when you're talking about nutrition and uh, Vince's programs and bodybuilding, that you have to have the right nutritional support. That it's really about 85% nutrition, 15% is the training. And so when you're putting it all together with the nutrition, you have to be kind of like your own scientist, where you have to experiment, kind of put the foods together that's going to work best for you, stick with the basic premise that you don't want to mix a lot of foods together. You want to have, you know, your, your, your proteins with a water soluble vegetable. You want to have your starches by themselves. You can add a fat with the, with the starch, like say you can put butter on it, I guess, or if you're toast, you can put butter on it. But the one thing is like people will say, well, what about toast in, in the, uh, in eggs for the maintenance diet? Well, when you, what happens is when you, when you toast bread, like you toast it almost to the point where it's burnt, it, it, the, the, you're, you're actually burning the, the, uh, the glucose molecules right out of the equation. So it just becomes more of a fiber uh, food. But if you had like just plain white bread um, and you didn't cook it, then that's going to interfere with the digestion of the, uh, of the, of the protein. So 
you know, so you can have toast and eggs, you know. Um, you don't, you don't want to have a lot of uh, like baked potato and, and red meat. That's just, it's just too hard on your system. It's just your body just doesn't want to deal with that. But you can have the steak and then two hours later you can have the, the, uh, the, the uh, potato. And so that's how you have to do it. But like for me, every 72 hours, like I might have oatmeal for breakfast and that, that's enough um, energy there, but also enough to, to restore my glycogen. So I still follow Vince's stuff. I mean, I do everything, you know, so I know enough about his information. I, you know, I've studied it. Um, me and Ron would talk for hours. He was a great resource. So whatever I couldn't get from Vince, I'd always get from Ron. And I would sit there and just like a sponge, I would just absorb all this information. So I know a, a tremendous amount about, the, uh, about Vince's nutrition plans and how, how they all kind of work. And Ron Cosmos was one of my best friends, and I could always call him up and ask him questions. And, man, I have notes after notes after notes of, of all the information that uh, I, I get from him. And, again, with, with Vince and Ron, I mean, these guys were the, they're, they're the most intelligent human beings that I've ever come across. And, again, I, I've been in a lot of, uh, you know, college classes and, and everything and, uh, you know, a lot of different uh, organizations and... and, and, and uh, you know, going to symposiums all over the country. But these guys were the smartest I've ever come across. And, and I'm so, so lucky to be able to have learned from these guys and, and to be able to continue on with that information. It, it's just incredible. Um, so, guys, if you have any questions, I, I know I threw a lot at you today. If you have any questions about and you want to know more about the nutrition programs and, and uh, you know, what's going to be best for you and, and how to kind of navigate through all that. You can just send me an email. You can find my email on my website. It's www.darylcohen.com. I put the link here down below. Um, and again, you know, it's just one of those things that it's a very complicated issue. And it's, it's not like, a, again, it's not a cookie cutter situation where, you know, I think people were expecting like, oh yeah, I'm going to give you like the secret formula to, to Vince's nutrition. And here's, here you go. Here's the you know, just follow that and you're going to be ripped. You know, so there's a lot to it. So, so you have to find the right nutrition plan that's going to be right for you and, and serve your own bio-individuality. And that's, that's extremely important because, you know, I'm not going to just prescribe a, a nutrition plan and have someone do it that it might not work and, and or they can hurt themselves or it might be the wrong program. You know, it's like, you know, not everybody should be on a ketogenic program. Some people should be, and some, you know, and there's different times you should be on it. And then that's how it works. So, you know, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Give me an email. I can help you out. And guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you next time.